Hey guys, Racy Padilla again here with TriCal. I thought I'd take a minute to talk about uh, insect pressure and insect tolerance um, as far as infestation load goes with triticale. And I was walking through here, starting to warm up here this spring. We're kind of towards the end of March here, so we're getting a lot of warm days, a lot of good sunshine, and things are starting to grow rapidly. But uh, as I started walking through here and I noticed that some crops actually have a pretty large aphid infestation on them, um, when you compare them to triticale and, and those crops particular, barley, oats, um, there's some other wheat varieties in here. But from a research perspective, I don't actually spray for insects or in, uh, in my particular trials here at this location because I want to get a little bit of a tolerance uh, selection either for uh, amount of uh, aphids or uh, any other insects that are uh, actually in the plots. Additionally, that gives me an opportunity to potentially uh, select for barley yellow dwarf, which is a virus that's carried by uh, many different species of aphids. And it's just an opportunity for us to actually do some breeding work opportunistically if we have the infection. Um, if we don't get the infection, we don't get the selection, but you know, that's okay. Most every year here in uh, Northwest Texas, we usually do get an infection or infestation of uh, either one or two or many aphid uh, species, mostly green bugs uh, and bird chariot aphids. And uh, I just want to walk through here and kind of show you the differences in infection rates uh, of what we're seeing or infestation rates that we're actually seeing. When you look at triticale specifically as a species, there's no, it's not a magic uh, crop that, that you can just say it's impermeable to getting infestation of any insects. Triticale does have the same intolerances to uh, the same insects that you would see on wheat, uh, oats, barley, etc. But what I've seen uh, is that triticale is similar to rye, that it can carry a larger uh, infestation load um, above what you would see normal economic thresholds of uh, specifically of in the case of like wheat. When you compare triticale to wheat, wheat has uh, many different uh, pamphlets out there available for information on what the economic thresholds are for your area. Uh, and it's usually based on number of tillers or number of plants or, or insects uh, per, per foot of row. Um, I would still use that as, a, as, the, as the go button to pull the trigger on trying to um, either apply an insecticide to triticale to kind of combat the potential uh, loss in, uh, in the infections uh, for, or from the infections of the insects or, or potentially mitigate some virus uh, infection from the infestation of, of aphids in this case. Um, but again, what I've seen is uh, triticale can hold a larger uh, infestation load than most of your wheat varieties. And I think we're gonna, I'm gonna turn around here and we're gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about. This is a barley plot here. And if you really get down in here and start looking, we, we're way beyond the infection rate or the economic threshold here. There is quite a bit of aphids infecting this plot. We're gonna leave this plot alone. We're not gonna spray it. The whole point of doing research on this farm is uh, selecting for these different types of opportunistic either diseases or insect infestation in this particular case, insect infestation. This is probably gonna kill this plot. Uh, there's not a whole lot you can do. You can spray it now and maybe save a little bit of it, but uh, ideally, you know, we needed to be out here uh, uh, further early on to really get that infection rate to knock down. And then you look next here, we have a, a wheat variety, and you can kind of see in here, there is some infection. This is probably, again, above the economic threshold. You can still spray this one. Um, and move on with it and save a lot of your yield here, just depending on what you're looking for. And we got plenty of, of examples of wheat, but really when we get in here and start looking at triticale, we're just at 50% flag leaf at this stage. So that stage, we still need to be really looking intensely to see what our infection rate is of aphids. And if you really look down in here, you can't see many aphids. There are some present. really pull them back get to looking we're not at that we're not at that uh, economic threshold where we need to actually think about spraying insecticide to try to uh, to mitigate any other infection um, we're just going to leave this one alone 
and uh, move forward. I would say it's more unusual to see triticale get the infestation rates that you would see in, uh, in something like that barley that we looked at early on or in a really bad case of uh, wheat infestation uh, with aphids. Um, again, we're dealing with a crop that is a hybrid species, you know, a, a, a wheat rye hybrid. We do get the rye chromosomes in triticale, which helps us benefit from a lot of tolerances uh, to insects and, and abiotic stresses and other things. So this is just another case of uh, why triticale